Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. In today's video, I am super excited to share with you guys my topics and the things that I would want to put on my wish list for this year's Nordstrom anniversary sale. So if you guys are interested, then please keep on watching. So if you guys are new here and you're not aware, I am actually from Toronto in Canada. Today is July 19th and today is the first day where we can preview the sale online. I have been contacted by, I guess, a manager or somebody from Nordstrom in Yorkdale. She assigned me to an SA who can help me. I think she's a stylist. Um, so basically what I would do is send pictures I guess or things on my wish list to this person but I'm still I don't know I mean I did set a time and date but I have not confirmed um, when she got back to me because I'm thinking maybe I just kind of want to walk in so that I won't get pressured or talked into buying more than I intend to buy so just a general kind of information here in Canada, we have basically two different dates. You know how in the US, there's like three different sets of dates where the different tiers or levels of the Nordstrom accounts have a specific or designated date wherein they can shop in store and have access to the sale. Here in Canada, I believe it's only the icons for the first day and they have, I'm not sure how many days, but I know for everyone else below Icon, so that's ambassador, influencer, and just the general public, they are able to shop the sale all on the 28th of July. So that's when I am gonna be walking into the store. But for now, let me show you my picks. So I do have different categories. I do have my phone and my notebook. So I do have beauty products, accessories, shoes, home, and clothing so yeah let's just jump into it let's start off with beauty the first one i have is the erin beauty mediterranean honeysuckle eau de parfum this set is for 137 dollars value it comes with a little cute pouch with a perfume a spray one and a body cream so this is a really good price in terms of this whole entire set this is by, if you guys are not aware, Erin is by Estee Lauder. So, you know, it's kind of supposed to be pricey. And I like how the little um, perfume thingy is actually a spray bottle. It's actually not a roller ball. And I heard from videos and other reviews that this is a really nice summer, fresh, kind of spring, citrusy floral scent. Uh, kind of... I guess giving you vacation vibes so that's a really nice one the next one I have is a travel size capture total set $163 value from Dior so now it would be $115 it comes with a serum a cell energy I guess some sort of moisturizer and then a correction kind of wrinkle correcting eye cream and they all come in the set of three in a little pink Dior bag so that is a really nice touch you could use the pouch I guess as a makeup kit in your bag for 115 and it used to be 163 dollars and I know the values that are written on here is the US price so nice for yourself or gifts for a mom and or someone who you think would benefit from this and then I have a volume uh, mascara set here which is a $70 value from Yves Saint Laurent and this one also comes with a pouch which is in black and gold um, and a full size mascara oh there's actually two full size mascaras over here so it's good for gifts as well or if you want to stock up on that this is a really nice way to get that little pouch which can also be reused you know like um, when you're traveling or just whatever other things you might need to put in that the next one i have is a travel size um, wood sage and sea salt cologne this is a joe malone london set 67 dollars value it comes with actually three different scents so the cologne would be the wood sage and sea salt and then you have a body cream uh in the set peony and blush suede 
And then you have a scented candle in the English pear and freesia scent. So if it were in my preference, I would have liked that they switched the cologne scent with the candle scent. Um, this is a $52 value, comes in a nice black or beige and black pouch. And then the last one I have in this category is this treatment set from Moroccan Oil. Uh, $66 value, you're getting it for $50. My hair really needs this desperately at this moment because after I dyed my hair, it also died. <laughs> so um, this is something that I think I will definitely pick up. Moving on to accessories. The first one I have is this mini initial pendant necklace from Kate Spade, New York. It's a $54 value. You're getting it for $34.90. So, you know, I'm just getting different letters for different people I'm giving it to. It's just a nice little gift or a stocking stuffer. Other people like to shop the anniversary sale for gifts as well for the holidays. So you can start now. And then the next one I have is this Quay Australia or Key Australia. I don't know how you pronounce this. It's a $75 value of the big time 48 millimeter gradient round sunglasses, but you're getting it for $49.90. So I personally do not own um, something like this. If I want something simple, then I might opt for something like this one. For $50, that's a pretty good price, I think. The next one is this edge chain necklace from Madewell. A value of $49, but you're getting it for basically $30. It's a nice uh, layering piece along with the Kate Spade one or any other um, gold necklace that you have. It comes in silver as well. And then on to the bags. I only kind of looked or liked two bags this year. It's the first one is Le Pliage Expandable Tote from Longchamp. $255 value. You're getting it for $149.90. And this is, like I said, expandable. Um, I think there's two zippers that you can expand it with. You could make it longer. Um, but basically, there's four different colors. It's like a red, burnt orange, a navy blue, and like an army green. This one right here is the gray. Um, and then the next one is this Kurt Geiger London Kensington Woven Straw Basket Tote. This is like a really good dupe for the Rafia is that Fendi? Um, yeah, I think it's the Fendi one. This is a very nice kind of dupe for that for $112.90, a value of $170. So yeah, there's only three stars, but you know, go to the store, feel it yourself, see if it's something that might work for you. It's in the camo color and it only comes in this color. Moving on quickly to the shoes. The first one I have here is by Blondo. It's the Drew Waterproof Booty. $200 value and you're getting it for $129.90. It comes in this black and comes in beige as well. So it's nice how it's it's got some chunky heels, probably really comfortable and you don't have to worry about uh, walking into the storm outside or slushy winter season in Canada um, with these waterproof boots. So yeah, really good deal I think. The next one I have the Louis AC. Emlyn chain, chain loafer. So this is a very um, kind of minimalist, but at the same time a really nice fashion statement um, pair of flats. So it comes in this black and kind of um, I don't know turquoise type design buckle type thing in the front, and it also comes in like a white or like an off-white color. $222 value for $139.90. I think that is a lot of discount. So try this on. If it's comfortable, you know, get it. <laughs> and then we have the Tory Burch Lay or Lee Trainer Sneaker. $292 value. You're gonna get it for $198.90. This is a new ivory and taupe combination. It's very similar to the Reebok and um, other Nike designs, but you know, just a little bit of difference right there with the Tory Burch kind of logo on the side and as well as on the back. I, I feel like it's gonna match a lot of nudes. So yeah. And last pair of shoes I have here, the Laura Lee Mule by Vince Camuto. 
$190 value for basically $120. So still some good deal. This is creaming kind of boho um, beach summer mule type shoe. But it also comes in black if you want it more fall. Um, that's just me with this particular color. It reminds me of like coconut tropical area. I don't know. Um, but yeah. <laughs> It's got some basket weaving design in the front and it comes in three different colors. Moving on to home. I only picked three. So the first one I have Bliss Plush Throw from Nordstrom. $32.90 uh, during the sale and it's a $49.50 value. So um, it's got, it's it comes in a ton of different colors. I know that some colors are a bit expensive but I literally just got one from Costco over the weekend. It's a $20 plushie from Kate Spade. So, just saying. <laughs> just letting you guys know. And then I have the Volley Spa Maison set of 5 tin candles. It's $70 value for $30. So, this is something I have not tried before, but I do love Bath & Body Works scents. So, I mean, if you're getting four of four or five, five actually for 30 and if it's um, priced at 70 originally then chances are this is something that is similar to Diptyque wherein the scent is very out there and you could smell it um, from a different room or the hallway even if it's in a room so yeah give it a try if you have some uh, if you're looking for something that you can spend your money on in the sale lastly is a bit of a splurge now this is um, very expensive for what it is but compared to the Smeg obviously this is still cheaper so this is the Stag EKG electric kettle by Fellow um, the price um, after the sale is $240 but you're getting it for $169.90 so it comes in white and a wooden um, accents as well as a silver metal the handle is in this wooden kind of beigey handle and it also comes in the navy blue uh, body of the kettle so that is a I think a really nice clean minimalist look if you want to display it on your kitchen counter that would be perfect now moving on to the last to the final and biggest category in this video is the clothing so here I am mixing the tops cardigans and the sweaters or jackets and jeans the first one is the funnel neck pullover by treasure and bond for $49.90, it comes in uh, is this white or gray, and then this camel, which is my favorite, and the black. So it looks really soft and comfortable. It looks a little baggy, but like how they styled it on here, I would probably tuck in part of the front of it into my pants for a really nice look. Um, and after the sale, it's $85 to $89, so definitely grab one for yourself if that's something you're into. The next one is by Treasure and Bond as well. This is the oversized Rumana uh, poncho. So this comes in the black, the pinkish blush, and then kind of a gray midnight bluish um, color. This would probably be nice for traveling, gives you a little bit of boho vibes, and it's just something nice for layering as well. Then you have this jacket or shirt jacket by Thread and Supply. Um, it comes in this gray and white plaid as well as a full on camel. Used to be or would be $64 after the sale. Right now it's $31.90. So it's a really good price for what it is. And I might grab it in the gray actually. Next we have the rounded v-neck t-shirt by Caslon. It will be $15.90 right now during the sale and after it will be $24. It comes in four different colors so it's a nice basic top for the summer or layering piece as well. And then I have another Treasure and Bond piece off the shoulder thermal knit top. So this has a little bit of a wider neck type situation. Comes in five different colors and um, it's just nice for the fall and winter. $35.90 right now, it would be $59 after the sale. Next is a Madewell Pickford pullover sweater. This is a little bit pricey compared to the other ones, but it's it's um, this chunky knit sweater 
um, that has slits on the sides so you can definitely wear something else underneath like what it is showing on the picture how they styled it it's got a you know the woman is wearing a white shirt underneath so that's a really nice touch and I don't know it's basic but it looks nice next is another treasure and bond find gosh there's so many good things from treasure and bond this year this is a woman's turtleneck sweater $49.90 right now it would be $75 after the sale it comes in four different colors and I like it especially in this chocolate brown color this is something I don't own yet anything this color I think I don't have yet so I might check this out um, hopefully it's not really itchy next is this a bubble cardigan sweater from Madewell this is very very popular from the videos that I am seeing so far um, but I don't know if I'm willing to spend $80 on a cardigan which chances are I can find eventually in the rack for cheaper or anywhere else but if you guys have extra money and if you're into something like this which has some design on the sleeve um, then definitely try it out for yourself $79.90 right now $124 after the sale comes in black and cream white the next one is also for Madewell also the same price $79.90 right now and $124 after the sale it's the Kent color block cardigan this is another um, favorite of many people um, same situation I don't know if I can spend $80 on something like this depends on the material I know it's not something comparable to the barefoot dreams one but um, probably a nice dupe it's got your nudes including the gray at the very bottom so that's a nice kind of touch there this next one is from All Saints and this is such a splurge you guys I've seen this in one of the reviews by a youtuber and she's super chic and stylish she got this in like a beige um, cream color it is not available in Canada it's only available in black so it's like a asymmetrical um, sweater in wool and it has a like a bigger funnel neck uh, design situation and it's $214.90 right now and after that after the sale it's $289 so it is very expensive for what it is but it's wool um and um yeah i don't know it's just super super nice i would definitely buy it if not for the price tag but yeah if you have the extra cash if you're feeling a little spendy then next is this open front cardigan from Caslon, a 52 90 um cardigan that is i think could be comparable to the barefoot dreams uh Feel free to correct me if you know how this feels and I know that the Barefoot Dream is very soft and comfortable then definitely you know compare and see what will work for you it's just you know half the price of the other so it's just a nice kind of alternative um, it comes in four different colors and it would be $79 after the sale next is this only blouse or office kind of workwear I guess this cross front blouse from halogen is $39.90 and $69 after taxes it's just got this nice little detail in the front comes in kind of a wine maroon color and white so I might look at this and then I have a treasure and bond rib cut out cotton stretch mini dress at $45.90 right now and $69 after the sale it is a dress with a midi dress uh, cut out in the back comes in this beige camel color and an army green one so since I am very short I'm only 5152 um, this midi dress might look like a maxi to me so I am gonna try it out and see if it is something that might work for me moving on to the last two things in this um, category I have two pairs of pants the first one is by Madewell it's called the perfect vintage jeans and it is $99.90 right now and it would be 161 after the sale so I am not really big into spending a lot on jeans but if it's very 
um, nice fitting and hugs you in the right places, then definitely go for it. I would try this out in the store in the Barnwell wash. So it only comes in this color. The last one is a bit um, on the affordable side. This is by BP. It's called the High Waist Button Fly Mom Jeans. $35.90, which is good price-wise. $55 after the sale. So I will try this out. Although I am not a fan of the blight, or sorry, of the blue light vintage wash, but I will see how it would make me look. So that is everything that I liked or noticed or have caught my attention in this year's sale here in Canada. At least I know a lot of the items that we are seeing online from the sales in the States are not available here, at least not all the colors. But um, today is only the first day and actually earlier today there were only 8 pages under the clothing category on the website and now there's actually 12. So it's either that they're adding more or they're just kind of, I guess, adding them in stock or I don't know. But basically this is just kind of my wish list and kind of a guide for my girls here in Canada. And I will take you guys shopping and trying them on on the 28th next week. I believe that's next week. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below on what is your favorite item um, from what I've shown you or just anything in particular that I may be missing on. So yeah, see you guys next time. Bye!